everybody. Welcome to the show. It's been a minute, but I'm back. No sun in here, so I guess I might as well take these shades off. Anyway, so I just got back from an event. Um, it's a political event. My friend uh, Nicole is president of this um, organization, and it was fabulous. I'm just saying. Anyway, in the background, you're listening to Scorpio because she is a Scorpio, okay? And she did a fabulous job. I'm just really proud of her. The turnout was incredible. Um, you know, lots of really powerful political women and speakers. It was just really, really good. So I'm just going to turn Scorpio down for a minute. And Scorpio, by you guys, if you guys know old school music, this is by Dennis Co uh, Coffee. So um, my brother and I used to play this stuff on um, the, the drum on it for um, this part here on our uh, oatmeal Quaker oat box and um, <laughs> our grit box. And now they got a whole Broadway play about stomp, whatever. Anyway, and we created that. Yes, we did. Anyway, so hold on one second. So anyway, it was really a wonderful event. It was political. A lot of political people that was there, like I said earlier. Um, and the reason why this event was so important um, is because, you know, my friend and I, she and I have both run for office in the city of Yonkers. Um you know, a couple of times. And we as women do not get the support. And what's ironic about this is that this was an event for women. Women. It was a women's organization, a women's group. It's called um, Aquahunt. Anyway, bottom line is we always talk about how women as a, as a, as a gender, we need to support each other. And a lot of times we really don't. Um, we have so many women who feel like, um, especially if it's political stuff, that women shouldn't be um, in a political arena, you know, or we shouldn't hold a higher a, a position. Like we need to start, always start at the very bottom. And men who just had been clipped from their mother's umbilical cords could go in and, you know, run the world as far as they're concerned, simply because of their gender. So anyway, I say all that to say that a lot of times when you go to these political events, a lot of people talk the talk, but they truly don't walk the walk. They're squawking about all this stuff all the time, but you don't really see them coming out to do it. And even um, <laughs> the senator said to me, oh, yeah, we got to get her elected, but it's got to be something that, you know, like in other words, you know, people tell you you have to crawl before you walk. I've been out here a very long time. It's not like I'm five years old. You know, and just because um, I'm not an elected official doesn't mean that, you know, you don't do stuff. You don't do stuff for your community. And the whole purpose of running for office for me is because you want to make this world a better place. And what better place to start than in your own community and in your own city? So if you have ideas and you're creative and there's other things, and I'm so sick of hearing about this educational formula and all this kind of stuff, you have to find other ways to get money. You have to be able to have everybody sit at the table together. You can't separate people and say, "Oh, well, this, these are the millennials, and these are the, um, you know, the, um, you know, the baby boomers, and these are this, that, and the other." Everybody needs to sit at the table. The truth of the matter is, is that I was born in Birmingham, Alabama. I survived my family and I the civil rights movement. Um, where, you know, we were being bombed and, and burned out of our homes. And my sister's friend, Carol, was one of the four girls who got killed in that 16th Street bombing of that church. And it was not, I remember it like it was yesterday. I might've been seven years old, but I remember. Anyway, the bottom line is um, when I come here and I'm in this city that I live in, I'm also now living in the last city in the North, from what I understand, that, um, you know, that to, to get rid of segregation. I mean, and they did it, you know, uh, not willingly. I mean, they had to be fined. The federal court, Judge Sands, who just passed away a couple of years ago, it was not easy because these people were not liking folks who look like me. And they certainly didn't want us in their neighborhood. Now, I know people will say, oh, but that was then, this is now. We're talking about the 80s. It just happened. And there are some people who are still the same. I know a lot of times when you run for office, people say, oh, well, you know, you're a um, carpetbagger. You just got here. I've been living in the city for over 20 years, okay? Um, I came here, I left, I came back again. 
So clearly it's something about the city that I love. I love the fact that it's close to New York City. It's like 20 minutes, a half hour at the most. You can drive there and you can take the bus. The transportation is good. So there's lots of good reasons to live in the city of Yonkers. The problem is, is that you keep putting, the people here keep putting the same people in office. They just have different bodies. That's all. Their spirit is the same. Their, um, you know, their their hearts are the same. Their mentality is the same. You want to put different people in the office. You know, um, it's very important, I think, to get people not only who live in the city and know the history of the city, but maybe it's time to bring in other ideas. You know, where it's not just folks from the city. And it's nice that people want to remain here and help their city, but you got the people who were during the DSEG in the um, 80s. Now it's their children who want to run um, the city. And you know some of the stuff was passed down. You know what they were listening to at the table, you know, at Christmas time and Thanksgiving when they're having, you know, dinner with their family. You know what they're talking about. You know what they're talking about. So anyway, um, I say all that just to say that um, when I run for office, and I will be running again, I don't want anyone telling me that I need to start here. I ran for city council twice, ran for city council president once, lost it by the primary by 130 votes, because again, I had people who was looking like me that was going against me. So I just want to thank all of those supporters who were out there and who have supported me throughout the years and know what my heart is and know my spirit. And I'm hoping that when I do run again, and I will, I hope that you don't, well, clearly at first you're going to see that I'm a black woman. You're going to see me black first, then you're going to see I'm a woman. But I'm hoping to eliminate all that. When I get to talk to you, I'm hoping that you will see my spirit, you will see my heart, you'll see my passion, um, and you'll see how God lives inside of me and the love that I have for all people and um and just wanting to make this city a better place hey listen we're all going to get old eventually you know so we got to help the schools you know we can't just keep saying the formula the formula well what the heck is the formula i mean really what is it there ain't no formula okay and if albany ain't giving you the money my family always said well there's got to be more than one way to skin a cat not that i would ever want to skin a cat because i love cats um but i get it you know there's more than one way to do something the other thing is, um, well, there's so many things, and I don't want to put everything up because somebody has already taken my whole platform from when I ran in 2015, and they're using that. So I don't need anybody else taking anything else that I have because they got to come up with their own ideas. Anyway, um, I want to thank you for your time, and I just want to say kudos to you guys, to the Aquahung women and everything that they did. I'm also a part of Aquahung. Um, it was very, very, very good. And I know some people always look to have certain people fail. Even our own women of color, you know, we're not always there. And women can be very, very, very difficult, but they can also be like some of the best sisters from another mother that you ever had. So I'm looking for those women who would like to help me in my campaign. I'm not going to say exactly what just yet. Some people already know. But um, just hang in there, you know, and always be positive. Yes, there's always going to be somebody coming with you with some negative bull crapola. We just need to stop. You know what I mean? So um, let's just have love because there's only two emotions, remember? It's love and it's fear. And fear, underneath fear, comes anger, hatred, animosity, jealousy, envy, you know, all of those negative ones. And under love comes kindness, thoughtfulness, consideration, you know, um, courtesy, politeness, all those nice words, okay, are all filled with love. Anyway, enough. I'm going back to Scorpio, right on to my Scorpio sister. Um, this video was for you, and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. And I know you're not, you don't want to be present next time, but I don't know what anybody can say that went wrong tonight because the food was good. The people were good. I don't know what happened with anybody else. Even the people who claim they don't like you was there and they saw that you did your thing, girl. So high five to you, Nicole. All right. I'll talk to you soon. You guys have a great, great, great week because it's coming up. Okay. Halloween is coming up. I know people don't really celebrate it sometimes, but I am going to go to a masquerade party and that's just all there is to it. All right. So you take care of yourselves and enjoy yourselves and we'll talk again soon. Oh, by the way, last time I told you I was doing my hair. This is it. Next time I'm going to a real beautician to get it done. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. 
So like it and we'll talk soon. Bye now.